Hello, and welcome to this presentation of my top 10 list of new ease of use features in ActPack CRM version 5.7. This release has been really focused on making the product easier to use, both for partners who wish to customize the system and for end users. At number 10 on my list is the administration area redesign. Let's take a look. Logging into the system as administrator, we get our main menu as normal, but now we have a new button called administration. The administration menu allows you to jump rapidly to whatever area of the administration system you want to get to. The pop-out functionality also allows you to jump straight to a particular area. The reorganization means the things that items that you wish to customize are more logically organized. In the customization area, you have access to the primary entities and also to any secondary entities that you may wish to customize. The email and documents area allows you to manage all of your email related functionality in the products and any documents that are in the products as well. The data management area allows you to do your data uploads, to manage your products, etc. Number 10 on the top 10 list is the reorganization of the administration area. At number 9 on my arbitrary list is the new notifications area, specifically designed to make notifications easier to set up. Let's take a look. If we go in to the company entity within the system, you will see that there is a new tab called Notifications. Within this, I have two choices. I can either make a new on-screen notification or a new email notification. Let's select a new on-screen notification. I type in my notification name, <coughs> perhaps a new account that's been assigned to me. And I can go ahead and select what criteria will cause this notification to fire. We have all of the fields available for you to use. So for instance, if we say the company account manager is equal to Susan May, you might want to put a notification up on the screen saying a new account, and we can merge in the names of the fields as we want, company name, has been assigned to you. Select the user that you wish to notify, and you're ready to go. Click Save, and Susan will receive a notification that new accounts have been assigned to her. The email notification system is just as simple. On top, you specify the same conditions, but down the bottom, you can select what email or email template you want to send out. Number nine on the list, the new notifications area within the system. Simple, easy to use. At number eight on my arbitrary list, we've got the new quote and order functionality. Now this functionality is available if you install 5.7 directory, or if you upgrade from 5.6 and you are electing to use the CRM standalone quote and order functionality. Let's take a look. The quote and order functionality is based off the new products area within the system. If you click on products, you will see the new product area that has been installed in 5.7. 
this shows the list of products and the product configuration. There will be a separate video detailing how to use this particular area. From a user perspective, however, there are some important features. Let's log in as Susan and see how it works. Based on how I have the system configured, Susan has the ability to actually issue a quota order directly from her new menu. If she selects from Susan's perspective, if she's in the context of an opportunity, she can go ahead and click the quotes tab and now can issue multiple quotes against this opportunity. If she clicks new, she decides which pricing list she's going to use. In this case, we will select retail and put in a description. That's called the revised quote. She clicks next. And now she gets to select from the products that we had previously installed in the administration area what products she is trying to sell. So she picks the product family of consulting in this case, selects the week, leaves the unit of measure, takes two weeks, quotes 10,000 euro, and saves it off. And this has been added to her particular quote. She has the option as well of sending a quote, which is a merge to a Microsoft Word document at this time. Number nine on the list, number eight on the list, is the quotes and orders functionality, which will be explained in detail in a separate video. Number seven on my list of top ten features is the math tasks that you can now do on your search results. Susan goes into the find area of the system and decides that she wants to look up a set of contacts that are in New York. She enters in the city and retrieves all the contacts. And once she's happy, perhaps, that all of these are the contacts that she wants to see in New York, she can actually send them from this, from this find results screen a new document. She can pick a global template with which to merge. The appropriate list of templates is displayed to her. Perhaps she picks, picks the cover letter. This will fire off Microsoft Word on the client, and a set of letters will be produced for everybody on that find results list. And here's the resulting merge, one for everybody on the list. She can save that off, and the visit letter will be recorded in the system against everybody on that find results screen. Other actions that you can take against this list of results include setting a new task against everybody on the list, sending them a mass email, and exporting to a file. Note that sending an email and exporting to a file are configurable options which you may elect not to make available to users. This configuration is done in the admin area. Number six on the list of easy to use features is the new save search functionality on the same screen. If we look here, Susan has done her search on all of her New York contacts. She can go ahead here and create a new set, a new search or a new save search and call it my New York contact 
list. As an information manager, she can actually make that available to all users if she chooses. The effect of this is that a new safe search has been saved in the database. So that if she were to go off and log off and log back in again, the next time she wants to look up her list of New York contacts, she can go ahead, select find person, and select the My New York Contact list. And all of the parameters that she filled in will be automatically refilled and the, alert, the, the list regenerated for her without any significant typing being required. Number six on the list of top ten easy to use features is the save searches. And these save searches are available for persons, companies, opportunities, cases, and solutions in the system. Number five on the list of easy use features is tab hiding. Ever felt a little overwhelmed with the information you're being given? Ever felt that really you're getting some information that you don't really need? Now you have the solution. Within all tab groups in the system, such as companies, persons, opportunities, and my CRM area, you will see three new dots in the system. If you want to customize this tab group for yourself as an individual user, you can do so. For instance, Susan is primarily a salesperson and would never have case information. She may elect to hide that information from herself. This reduces the overall clutter on her tab group. Note that the three dots here have turned gray, and it does inform you that one tab is hidden. So you can go ahead and restore that at any time by clicking on the three dots and reselecting the tab to display. Number five on the list, tab height. Number four on the list of ease of use features in Acpac CRM version 5.7 is global library documents. Information managers and the system administrator can now make documents available to some or all users, depending on their security rights, which saves them having to separately administer documents outside of the CRM system. For Susan, this means that she gets a new tab called Document Library, and she gets a list of all of the documents that are available to her for use from within Acpac CRM. For example, here's the corporate presentation. If we click on that, that's available for Susan now. She can view it and decide, is it appropriate to send out to a particular contact? She could download it to her client's laptop if she wants to. Or, if we go and find a customer in the system who she feels she should send this presentation to, she can click on the customer's email address and down the bottom of this area, click on the search, and it will pop up any appropriate, a list of any appropriate presentations or documents for her. As she has only one, it automatically populates that in. It's the corporate presentation, and she can go ahead and click send and send it out to the customer. Number four on the list of top ten ease of use features is the global library functionality. Number three on the ease of use functionality is calendar printing. Now, end users can go ahead and print their calendars and their task list for days and for weeks use. Let's take a look. So here's Susan's calendar for the week, and she can go ahead here and click the print button. This will pop open a new window with data formatted nicely for printing for her. The tasks that appear are exactly as 
she has determined that they should appear here. And notice also that there's an automatic print, printer uh, dialog that pops up, so that you just need to click print if you're ready to print it. Also, the information about each meeting, which while it's not in the window in the main CRM system, appears on the uh, printed list so that the user knows what exactly they're doing at each time. Number three on the list, calendar printing. Number two on the list is the new date and time widgets. All throughout the system, if you go ahead and create a new appointment, the calendar now pops up in line. No more looking for a lost calendar window. It now pops up in line, and you can go ahead and select the date. And the time list has been radically altered to reduce it. You can pick your time. Or alternatively, if you want to be very precise, you can go ahead and type in an individual time, such as 08.32 a.m. And save that off. No more looking for any lost calendar windows. They're now popping up in line. Number two on the list of top ten ease of use changes is the date and time. And number one on the ease of use features in ACPAC CRM version 5.7 is the new search select fields. You will notice these when you're creating appointments, opportunities, and other pieces of information in the system. If we go ahead and create a new appointment, it is this area that has been redesigned in CRM 5.7. We can type in a partial company name here, and it automatically pops up the list of potential matches, so that I can easily decide, yes, it is uh, one of these companies and what their type is. This list here is customizable. We select Eurolandio, and then Without any user intervention, it also pops down the list of the contacts that are associated with this company. And we can go ahead and select here. We also have the ability now to select what this appointment is regarding. If we click the button here, we can relate it to either opportunities or cases logged by Kieran O'Toole of Eurolandia. If we select the opportunity, it pops down the list of active opportunities that we are working on within the system. For Kieran. We select the 100 user license deal, and now we know our appointment will be automatically related to that deal. Number one on the list there of top 10 easy to use features in CRM 5.7 is the redesign of that top area. ACPAC CRM is chock full of other easy to use features. This is an arbitrary list, but I hope you'll agree that it shows that ACPAC CRM version 5.7 is simple and far easy, very easy to use. 